I'd like to show you about Google Drive. Google Drive is uh, was called Google Docs until recently. Um, I'm just going to click on it here on my iPad. It's actually down in the bottom dock, and it uh, has the triangular icon. Um, Google Drive lets you create documents online. So I can go ahead and push the plus button up the top right hand corner, and I could create a new document. Let's me give it a name. I'm just going to call it uh, underscore wow for now. And I'm going to say create. And what it'll bring up is a pretty simple word processor. It looks a little bit like pages uh, on the iPad. So I can type just like that. Just like pages, I can type using my voice. I'm typing using my voice. Um, I can uh, change fonts by going up here, just like in Pages. So it has a lot of the same features that Pages would. Um, of course, I can make bulleted lists. Oop, I pushed underline. You get the idea. There's a, a few different formatting options here, um, just like in Pages. What this, uh, what this can do that pages can't, however, is I can share this document in real time with anyone else and we can edit it at the same time. Or I can share it to them and they can view it. So at the right hand uh, corner there's a picture of sort of two people. If you go ahead and push that, it says there are no current other viewers. But I can say done and close. Uh, in a second here, you'll see that document I just created called Wow will show up. I'll just refresh this by pushing the arrow at the top. And uh, let's see, Wow, where are you? There it is at the very bottom, Wow. So I'm gonna click and I can share this. Right now it shows me who has access, only me, and it's a private document. I'm gonna push the plus button and here I could share it with anyone else I wanted to. share it with this test student and I can choose if they can edit it or if they can just comment or view. I'll say I can edit and now this student would get an email notification telling them that they uh, too could come and edit this document. It's a really powerful tool for collaboration especially with students. If you have two people working on the same project they can at least start off getting all their ideas here in Google Docs and creating the document. Then if you wanted to move it into something else afterwards to make it look much prettier you could do that. But this is a great starting point for almost every project I would say. One of the most amazing reasons of doing it right here on Google Drive is that it automatically saves to the internet. It's not saving itself on the iPad, it's saving in the cloud. So the student can literally pick up any iPad or any computer and continue editing this. So just to show you as an example, I'm going to open a web browser with Google Drive right here. And there's my WOW document that I just created on the iPad. I can click it and there is everything I've done on my iPad right there. So what's even more amazing uh, about Google Drive is um, that, well, first off, it's installed on everyone's computer and every lab computer, and most of the middle school students, especially in grade six and seven, are already using Google Drive. Um, you can run it from your launch pad, and then up here, uh, it'll start synchronizing um, everything that's in your Google Drive down to a folder on your computer. So you can see here, I have this folder called Google Drive and uh, it's synchronizing all my stuff down. So of course I can create text documents like I just showed you on the iPad and save them here or online and save them here but I can save any type of file at all that I want here. So just as an example uh, let's open Word. So here's Word. I'm gonna just create a blank document and write this is a Word document um, and now I'm gonna save it. File and save going to ask me where to save it and I'm going to save it right to my Google Drive. So 
um, just on the left here. If you don't see all these options, just push this arrow. This arrow gives you more saving locations. So I'm going to go ahead and save on my Google Drive. Click my Google Drive. Give it an equally exciting name here. Let's call it Wow2. I'm going to save it. So once I save it, you'll notice it's called Wow2. If I look here in this folder, there's Wow2. It has the word icon. And now this icon up here starts to flash. That shows me that it's synchronizing a file out to the cloud. When it stops flashing, it means it's finished. So if I were to click here, I can see that it's finished. I can go here uh, on to, back onto my Google Drive. I can look at uh, recent documents. Actually, let me just click my drive. I'll scroll down. There's Wow2 already on the internet. I can click it here on the internet and it'll show me um, a viewable version here on the internet. So this is in a web browser. It's showing me this. But I can also go back to my iPad. So there's the viewable version. Let me go back to my iPad here. Refresh the drive. And let me find, I think it was sorting to the bottom up here. There it is right there. Wow too. And this is a Word document. I can push it here and I could uh, do whatever I want. So I can save any type of file I want to my Google Drive on the computer, on the iPad, on the internet, and it is accessible from any of my computers as long as I log into my Google Drive account. It's pretty powerful stuff.